How many of y'all remember going to Port Mallow, getting in that wave pool? That wave pool. So check it out, with the wave pool, you had so many people in the wave pool just enjoying it. But yet it was a whole lot of people sitting around the edges over on that right hand side with they feet hanging over to watch it. People in the back just watching. They were just, they were just watching. Watching people get hit with the waves, watching the people just, people almost drowning. But the people on the outside, they, they were dry. And they were watching everybody getting wet, getting soaking wet, hit with the waves. So my partner Ken just kind of spoke a word piece God gave him called pool. And with pool, what it made me think about was like, you can have a lot of people sitting outside just watching everybody have fun or they watch people get hit with the waves but then when they get home and they talk to their cousin that got in the wave pool they ain't the cousins they're like man it was so fun i'm gonna drown man it was so you remember when that wave did this remember that way and they had an experience that you didn't get the experience because you were scared of the waves so a lot of times on the outside we're looking at the waves and we're not getting in the pool because we're actually scared of the waves. We're a pool representing we're not getting into what God designed us to be in. We're not getting into our, our our vision or our mission or our goal. We're not tapping into it because we're scared of the waves. We're seeing everybody else just get hit with the waves and everything. But when you talk to them later on, you hear that them he get hit with the waves was worth it because of where they at now. So don't be scared to get wet, man. Because dry things equals dry things, man. Get hit with the waves, man. Yeah, I don't know, yeah.